So welcome back here with your work in the channel. Okay, so yeah, welcome back. You will have seen my main intro just now. I finally have, well, more or less finished off Hope's little cozy coupe car. So go back and check the series out on that. Um, she absolutely loves it. I'll put some pictures up here now. Um, but yeah, I'm well chuffed with it. 10 out of 10. So we finally both got matching cars. Okay, so also then, right, what else has happened? Um, some work on the Escort engine. Um, let me show you. Okay, so you will see this giant Garrett T34 turbo. This really, really nice manifold. So it's an R2000 base plate with a Escort turbo T3 manifold. Fabrication of Scotland here is fantastic. I didn't go for a crazy cage one after all, because I was like, you know what, this is tried and tested. Um, upgraded actuator. I also do have a Mambo one down there, which I will show you. Um, but yeah, it's got a like, cutback blades and all that kind of stuff on it. It's got an enhanced turbo core on it. Um, so this has thrown some problems for me. So here you will see, um, where's the snapped part? I don't know, I'll find this up there somewhere. But there's a snapped part from here. So basically, this is what the water return comes out of. Then if you look here, this is where the PCV valve goes, the crank case breather. So again, another problem. So that's the PCV. So that would normally sit in the back of there. That will then vent around here, which will go around the back, which goes in the back in the manifold with this little device, which has a one-way valve in it. Um, you'll see there, so the vacuum sucks it up, so it allows the crank to vent. So people have said, just vent it out here. I don't really feel comfortable with that. So I think what I may do is drill the one-way valve out of here. Let's see if I can show you now. If you look down there, that will be in there. And then obviously this won't go like this, but you can kind of get the idea that will go into there. That will vent off across the top this way. I'll run it this way. And then that will go to a breather over there. As this part is snapped, um, it's an MPT38 thread. So the original four part is no longer available. Um, again, it's a bit of a bugger. So what I'll end up doing, I'm just gonna show you now quickly. It's just for show a minute, I'm gonna end up having a rubber pipe and then I'll route it around the back and then that will run around to the heater matrix. So that will resolve and fix those problems. You'll see we have some nice new brass plated or well, copper plated bolts. I've had to fit a new one in here because I didn't have one, I finally got them. Um, thanks to the RS owners, RS2000 page for somebody who hit me up on there. And this one, so look. So these are the original ones are in the block. I've had to cut that one back there. And we've had to cut this one back there. Because again, don't forget this is all custom bespoke, okay? So I'm waiting for my AN fit in to come so I can run this down to here and into the block. Once I've tacked all that, I've tacked up. Fitted all that, fit this in, do that and do that. I can then put my new gasket on the back of here because it's just sitting here right now. And then the turbo side is more or less fitted, okay? Um, I need to fit the brackets onto here and fit an alternator to it um, and put the tensioner on it. That is left remaining to do. But yeah, let's take a look. Look, it is a big turbo, so that's my head. <laughs> it is a T34 turbo, okay, with an upgraded core in it. It does have a spare core as well, okay? I think it's from CT Turbo or CT Tuning previously, which was hybrid. Um, so this is it's only done like 2,000 miles as Cole has, um, well happy with it, so thanks again James. You'll see also it's got an upgraded, if need be, um, actuator with springs. Okay, so just quickly mocked up, um, you can see underneath here is a rubber hose, very very hard to see down there, let's have a look right here, there you go, it is close but it isn't touching. I think that will run up and then I will run this then directly across here. Um, and maybe put like a loop there and a loop there just to run it across. Okay, so yeah, this is the snapped feed. So it would have run this way, which was no good because it went through the manifold. It's gonna have to run off this way or slightly this way. I could even run it off this way if I wanted and run it around here and put some, um, what's that stuff called? A um, like a fire blanket or foil tape, but that's lost. 
Got it. Okay, so this is 16 mil um, outside diameter on the water line. So I need to get a 16 mil inside. You know what I mean, I need to get a 16 mil out gut. Okay, so a bit of felt drain. So I've cut that pipe and I'm gonna put a loop there, but that's gonna have to work like that. And I think that will do the job. And I think I'm gonna run the MPT adapter up here and run it around here. And I'll just link the two of them then together up here. It will be heat, I understand that, but it'll be this will be wrapped um, and then I'll put like some foil lining around there. What's your thoughts? Also up on the cars I've had off James is the Vibratex mount. Um, this is gonna stiff in the front end right up and get like the vibrations of the engine. Only issue is look at that. That's terrible, isn't it? So I'm gonna have to take this mount apart, grind that up inside, and actually weld them because when that's on the car. Let me show you, you're not going to be able to see or access them bolts underneath because it's two bolts which are there. How on earth are you going to be able to tighten that up? It's quite shorty, isn't it? Do you mean? So this pipe which I'm talking about, which is coming here, which is coming from the PCV down here, which is this one, I believe. No, it's this one. Okay, so that goes around to the back of the inlet, just so you know. So the inlet sucks and it allows that valve to open up that to let it breathe. What I'm gonna do is, it's gonna be blanked off on a, the hell was that, birds on the roof? Um, I've got to blank it off on here, and I'm gonna run that one then direct to the catch can, and the other one to here, so it vents through here, and obviously the pressure can release through there. Um, the water one is currently running around here, which goes to heat the matrix system, like I said, it's going to come up here and it's going to run around here, and then I'll just channel it down there if that makes sense. So, yeah, I 100% know what I'm doing, and I hope you do too. Yeah, so I've, I've had um, that's an original mount um, gearbox. So, I'm going to blast that off with an airline and then I'm going to spray with some iron ore, leave that soak, put some snow foam on it, and blast that. I'm not going to paint there, I need to put the arm off my car, obviously, onto here. And that pretty much is it. I have a set of injectors. Oops, just dropped the ring. So these are off Super Impreza, obviously on a turbo fuel, let's see, R2000 um, rail with a 3.5 bar at 440 cc. With a 3.5 bar, I get to a 480 cc with them with my water pump. Jesus Christ, what a day. With my fuel pump, okay, which is Walmart 255. Um, and then that should give me nice 400 horses. Um, I don't need that. I want to go for mid threes. I want it to be reliable. But yeah, that's kind of where we are. Spare cobra there, spare rail, um, throttle body. We've got all the bits hanging around. It needs a real good tidy up. Like I said, I've got the inlet down here. I've got my downpipe there ready, obviously, with the lamba sensor plugged into it. So yeah, we are getting there. One eternity later. Okay, so next job. We're up to uh, all well because I want to finish our seat mount today because it's bugging me because we ran out of gas last time. So I've been given the keys, I'm going to go up there and do some work on that. I don't know how far I'm going to get on it, but let's have a little recap of how far I've got so far. If you're new to the channel, go and take a look. Um, this is one of those videos, it's a bit of here, there, and everywhere today, isn't it? Um, just trying to ca carry, carry off and cover some content, to be honest. Keep it going to off this week and um, try and keep our little mind of mine active.
Okay, excellent stuff. Fast ride, lovely. Really happy with that. So let's get over onto that little piece of SHIT. Okay, you would have seen on the last video all that it's got welded in, but I started to turn around with gas. So that's really sort of hammered hell out of that. It's not welded down here, obviously, yet. But where I've gone to weld this in now, and I grind that back first of all, and then re weld it from scratch with some fresh gas. Absolutely solid. Let's take a look. So as I told you, I'm gonna spot what I have. I spotted that floor skin out for and it was already welded underneath. It's nice and thick and solid and penetrated. You can see the heat through there. Obviously it was painted. And then you've got this nice bead on here. And then we got additional little right angle here. So still working this section. Let's grind that back now, but yeah, it's becoming well as it should. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so I'm gonna show you quickly. So I done like I did the other side, I put a plate that it's in sealer now, okay? Um I've been busy. Um and this is all done. So let me flip around the other side so you can see. So yeah, like I told you, I built the section back up for the floor and I've put the right angle steel in there like I did this side. Let me flip you around. If you remember, I did this side, so the light is terrible. This video is not gonna do any favours. So yeah. I did a right angle all the way across here and all the way down here, if you remember. It's in the recap. I did the plate on here. I didn't have to build this uh, this one up, but this one I had to completely build, if you remember, going back. I've cleaned all the floor now, so I'm just waiting for that sealer to go off and hoover it, and then get that side into etch primer. Then hopefully a bit of colour. Okay, so we are in seam sealer. Oh, light. We're in seam sealer all the way on the edge now, and we're in seam sealer all down here. And then we're going to seam sealer all nice around here and around here. Let me flip it on the other side. Yeah, so you've got the seam sealer all around there. Looks messy. Yeah, it is seam sealer, okay? Um, but I will get painted on now and dust in the colour. And it'll be like this side. So again, we're using the Aerosol Expert, which is the IPS Etch Primer. Okay, so covering the engine numbers, we will give our quick 10 minutes to flash off. Maybe a little heat gun, and then we'll get some colour on here. Okay, and there we have colour. Happy days, the back end is done. And there we are, another two and a half hours on the Escort. It's all done for two and a half hours, isn't it? I uh, put that out there, like, so we had, I finished making the seat plate, obviously I made the metal before, braced it a little bit, done two sections on the inside, and what else I do? Oh yeah, seemed sealed it, sealed it, dried it all off, primed it, and painted it. Happy days. Are you enjoying the build or guys? Um the last video I didn't really trend, so I was quite surprised about. I thought that uh it'd be out there. But I'm not sharing it to the cause of pages, I'm not sharing the restoration pages, like I do share my videos. Probably because there's too many critics out there. But yeah, um don't think I'm gonna end the video here, I might go somewhere, I got trick up my sleeve which I want to do um, we'll see now we'll see Beetlejuice 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 Get your
So I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget, come down to Bridge Street in Portalbert. Amazing art down here if you want some photos done. Um, hit my socials up because I'll put some videos on my TikTok, which is Deathbox Dan, and my Instagram. And I'll see you next time.